You guys think massage actually works? Cause I got a I got a massage that my wife booked for me on the cruise. And so it was a, it was a bamboo massage and uh, it's one of the most painful experiences that I think I've ever been through in my entire life. Instead of using their hands for like a gentle massage, they use a bamboo uh, rod and like they need you like like a piece of bread or something like that. But she was like, she was working the knots in the muscles and that was fine. There was nothing wrong with that. Would I say it felt good? No, I'd say it felt like a normal massage. It felt like my muscles were being, like it, like it hurt and then it was okay. And then it hurt and then it was okay. But then, I don't know if, if it's just the morphology of like my back, but when she was going up my back, the thing was like putting its fingers in the notches of my spine and it was painful. Like it was, it, it, like the next day my spine was bruised. Like if I touched my, my back, it hurt. And then uh, like that, you start on your, on your stomach, right? So I was like, oh my God, like that, uh, thank God I can turn over on my back now that uh, she's done with my spine, because it can't get any worse than that. But then she got into my calves, and I, I walk on my toes, so my calves are like, I'm just gonna say it, they're, they're muscular, okay? They're big. She was getting into like, you know, the horseshoe part of the calf? She was digging the, the calves, or the, the bamboo rod, like into the divot on the horseshoe, and going like, and I, Honestly, the, I think that the relief that I got from the massage was when it was over. Like the most relief that I got from the massage was when I knew that she was done with the calf. But then the problem is that as soon as she was done with like my left calf, I couldn't enjoy the rest of the massage because I was like, she's going to have to get my right calf at some point. So I didn't even enjoy like the part where she was massaging my, my quads because I knew that as soon as that the quads were done, I had to get the other calf done. I get that you can like tell them that it's like too hard or whatever, but listen, you can't do that because you'd be a puss. You got to tough it out. I'm not gonna like pay for the massage and then be like, actually, I don't want a massage. <laughs> Cause then it would feel like I wasted money, which is a worse feeling, spiritually at least. Would you go again? Um, if my wife booked it for me. For sport, probably not. Would you book it for your wife? Probably not. I think that she would probably consider it too painful, honestly. I'm just, I, I think that maybe there's like um, massa massage inflation or something like that. Like at some point, people realize like it, it's nice to have someone else like massage you. But then like, I think some freaks got their hands on it, quite frankly. This team is just way too good for the stage of the game in which we're at. And now, like, I'm, I'm just getting into massage. You know, I get, like, two a year or something like that. But they, it, there's no such thing as, like, a, we just lightly massage you anymore. There's no, like, beginner massage. Everyone is, like, we put, like, suction cups on your back and turn you into, like, the sixth, die, the sixth side of a die. Or they, like, beat the piss out of you with bamboo shoots and reeds and stuff like that put the oil in the microwave for like two and a half minutes and then pour it down your crack. Like, it's just, I, it's crazy. They put the beans above the frank? That's going to be the next one. But they're not going to call it beans above the frank because they know that everyone would say no. Instead, they call it something like, oh, do you want the, the relaxation treatment? And you're like, that sounds nice. And before you know it, the beans are above the frank. It's stupid to not tell the masseuse they're doing it too hard. Isn't it? I, I mean, I guess that I'm just built different because I trust the experts. 
This lady's been giving massages probably full time for like eight years. I'm going in for like my third massage and I'm like, you're doing it wrong. I guess like there's just something wrong with me that I don't feel like I should be like mansplaining to the masseuse how to do their job. She can't tell she's doing damage to you. She should be able to because I can see the veins in her forearm popping out, man. It's a, it's a bamboo rod. How could she not know? I think it's probable that I just probably had like the greatest pain tolerance that she's ever seen. So I honestly took it that maybe there was like an element of it for her that she was like, I'm going to make this guy tap. Like maybe she was having like a bad day. And she was like, I'm going to take it out on this guy. And I was like, you won, but I'm not going to let you know that you won. She said, like, how was it? And I said, I feel so relaxed now. She didn't have to know that the reason I felt so relaxed was because of the fact that it was over. It means I outlasted the KGB in the interrogation. <laughs> And I didn't talk. If you ordered a steak well done and they served it to you rare, what would you say? I w First off, I would say thank you for giving me something that tastes better than what I ordered. Secondly, it's not the same thing. I was of the opinion that the things that they sell at the massage parlor are relaxing. Because that's the reason you're there. I thought it was going to be like the the bacta chamber like you were, i was going to be like goku in the tank just floating around getting relaxed what it actually was was when goku uh died and then went to master popo's like training area in heaven and got like 10,000 years of like getting his ass beat so that he could become more powerful when he went back down to the earth it's King Kai, not Mr. Popo's. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Maybe you're more sensitive to pain? How would I be more sensitive to pain? I won. I out, I outwitted, out, what's the other, outcompeted, outlasted? Outwit, outplay, outlast, that's it. <laughs> Did y'all talk about his bamboo mas massage? Yeah, Ryan was like, <laughs> Ryan said it was more painful than getting his wisdom teeth pulled. And when he was getting his wisdom teeth pulled, I felt like I was watching like a, a, like a World War II Nazi captured American and like torturing on like the dentist chair. Like that's what I witnessed in the dentist office. Like he... The dentist was like on top of like on like he was standing on the dental chair yanking the tooth out like like you know what he was like like what you know what i mean like like he wasn't just like yoink it wasn't like that like he was on the chair like basically he was on top of ryan wrenched both hands trying to like yank this uh wisdom teeth out and then the dentist was like the upper one was like fine, but then like the bottom left one was like the root of the wisdom teeth was so crooked that it was like not good. <laughs> he said it was not good. And then the left side was like even worse. So he needed to crush the wisdom teeth into pieces and pick up the pieces. And then why well, I told that story to my sister who is orthodontist and then my brother-in-law who is like head surgeon. And he's like, bro, your dentist sucks. I could do that in like two seconds in like lunch during lunch break. Well, either way, uh, Ryan went through that procedure and then the dentist was like, you gotta take a good care of Ryan because he, he, he has suffered. And then Ryan came back from bamboo massage and then he was like, that, that bamboo massage was more painful than the wisdom teeth extraction. And I was like, Okay, then compared to, was was it more painful? Um, compared to when you when I waxed you, and then Ryan was like, ah, it's up there. Those two like like getting getting his 
chest hair waxed. Um, he said like that. That was the most painful shit ever. So he said like the bamboo massage was almost like up there. And then I was like, I told Ryan like, you know, if if the masseuse was like too hard on you, you could tell them to go, like easier. And then Ryan said like, I don't want to be a little poo to like, uh, you know, I I like I'm a big man. I can take it. And then Ryan was like, I think I got a bruise everywhere. Ow, 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 ow. And then uh, he's like, touch my spine. And I touched his spine. And he's like, oh, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> and then he's like, touch my arm. And I, I just poke his arm. And he goes like, oh, it hurts. It hurts. And then he's like, don't even touch my legs. My legs are frigged up. It was so good. The whole... So the rest, like the next two days, Ryan was like, it's getting worse. I think I'm bruised. And then Ryan's like, am I bruised on the back? Am I bruised on the spine? Can you check? And then I was like, dude, I cannot see if there's a bruise or not. Because you're so hairy, my dude. Like I have to go through uh, like a rainforest in order to find this bruise. Like I cannot see, man. And then remember like the last night of the Disney cruise. I forgot to take... An extra t-shirt out for Ryan so he had to sleep with only underwear on and so I was like oh my god like he's like top half naked bro and then he was walking around with top half naked in the cabin and I was like oh my gosh like I just like I have like a big foot in the cabin it's so weird like you're like it's so funny like I was laughing so the whole time it's so funny to see a man who is completely bald but then his chest, shoulder, and back was like full of hair. Like, like so luscious. It's like, I don't know why. It's like, it's just, it's just so funny. It's just so funny.